Hello guys, this is Rich Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But before I start the devotional guys, I would like to shout out the following person on our channel na punta rito at na join sa devotional natin the other night. Shout out and God bless to you and TV, Michael Aborita, Seisha Love, It's Mommy Rose, Lini Cari Lemmy Cariedo, Patnon Blog, MC John McRae, CEMB TV, Therese Angel Benedicto, Scarlett Naelga, Jeric Jed Mendez, J. Pantinopoli, Iconi Domingo, Sean Justin Bautista, and Therese Angel Benedicto. Still guys, we're experiencing maulan na araw dito, no? Kopi na wala na ulan bukas guys kasi I'm leaving for, ano, for Manila, no? Mahirap ma pag makancel cancel yung ano, yung mga flight. Kaya, yun, hoping na hindi nalalakas or iiba na ang direction ng ano, ng uh, bagyong malakas. Okay guys, let's proceed to our devotion. Let's open the Bible to Psalms. Chapter 63, verses 1 to 8. Still, guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words used here are simplified to maintain the hand talaga natin. This is about a psalm of David when he was in the desert of Judah. Okay, Psalm 63, verses 1 to 8 says, O oh God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My body longs for you in a dry and weary land. Where there is no water, I have seen you in the sanctuary and beheld our power and your glory. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live, and in your name I will lift up my hands. My soul will be satisfied as with the richest of the food. With singing lips, my mouth will praise you. On my bed, I remember you. I think of you through the watches of the night. Because you are my help, I sing in the shadow of your wings. My soul clings to you. Your right hand upholds me. Amen and amen. How you guys, let's not pray. Lord God, like David, na pinili mo to become a man after God's own heart. Pinakamalapit na sa sayo, oh God. How much more for us na we always claim malapit kayo kami sa inyo, but yet, in reality, I do not know. We cannot answer. But Lord, like David, we claim of you. We ask you to please help us that we may survive from the difficulties we are suffering. Lord, in your right hand, we know that you help us because you uphold us with your right, your right hand. Lord, there are those people who are uh, making api with us, oh God, in api kami, and I pray that you will uh, beat them so they will also stop uh, coiling us, oh God. Yung mga nagtitake advantage sa amin, sa mga properties na, uh, na belong sa amin. Lord, uh, punish them, oh God. Grabe yung ginagawa nila, oh God. Like what we have uh, Last night sa uh, ano namin sa devotion namin, yung mga injustice na ginagawa towards us. That's why, Lord, save us from all un unrighteousness and lead us, oh God, that we may be satisfied Now we always call for help and to you. Your management, oh God, is better than what we think. Lord, thank you that we can commit all these things to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Okay, guys, the... Focus verse we have for this evening is found in Psalm 63, verse 1. And it says, You, God, are my God. Earnestly, I seek you. <laughs> Sana guys, no? Let's seek God earnestly. No? Okay, so the title of devotion for this evening, guys, is Seeking God. It's inspiring to watch people's passion and dedication 
in pursuing their dreams. A young woman I know recently graduated from college in just three years. Ah, gabi, no? A task that took total commitment. A friend wanted a particular car, so he worked diligently, baking and selling cakes until he reached his goals. Another person who's in sales seek to meet 100 new people every week. Gabi, no? May goal siya talaga, no? Tayo, ano yung goal natin, no? Okay, I know we have a goal, but the problem is, hindi natin na may meet masyado. Probably, kulang pa rin yung ano natin, yung persistence natin sa pag ng goal natin. Yung plan A, plan B natin, gamitin na natin. Well, it can be good to earnestly seek something on earthly value, there's more important kind of seeking that we must consider, that is, seeking God. That's why the devotional is always here. For us to gather to grow in God, especially that we seek on Him every day through this devotional. In desperation, struggling in a desert, King David wrote, You God are my God, earnestly I seek you. As David cried out to Him, God drew closer to the weary King. David's deep spiritual thirst for God could only be satisfied in His presence. The King remembered meeting with God in His sanctuary experiencing his all-conquering love and praising him day after day, finding true satisfaction in him that's not unlike enjoying a full and satisfying meal. Even during the night, he contemplated God's greatness, recognizing his help and protection. Today, the Holy Spirit can beck us to earnestly seek after God as we cling to Him in power and love, God holds us up with His strong right hand by the leading of the Spirit. May we draw close to the Maker of all good things. Amen and Amen. <clears throat> Di ba guys, pag may problema tayo, kanina ba tayo pumupunta? No? Yes, it's true we go to other person seeking for help, but yet sometimes we frustrate lang tayo. No? Kasi expectation versus reality. Sila yung sana yung mga tao na inexpect natin na to tulong sa atin but yet wala talaga nangyari. Kaya let's go to God like what David have done, no? Like what David did na pumunta siya kay Lord, nagseek siya ng help kay Lord and that Lord really answers his prayer. Because totoo naman, God is really God, the God of the universe. He owns everything. He created everything. So yung mga hinihingi natin, nasa sa kanya talaga lahat. No? Okay, so let's uh, proceed to the two question. How has the Holy Spirit been prompting you to seek God? Oh, yun, yun no? Kaya nga, God is uh, giving us problem. Kaya, kasi we immediately go to Him. Probably God just misses us, no? Uh, that's why He gave us problem in order for us to go to Him. Kasi pag wala tayong problema guys, hindi talaga tayo pupunta kay Lord. Nakalimutan natin siya especially that uh, when we are in our time of our comfort, yun, no? Ano siya? Uh, parang nagsisel... Yes, He is really a jealous God. Kaya nga ayaw niya yung mga tao na worship ng God, other gods than Him. Di ba? Kasi gusto niya siya lang talaga ang a will worship. Okay, second question. What are some things you can do this week to grow closer to God? Yes, yung taimtin natin pagdarasal, no? Not just because it's a, a holy week, but sana we'll do it every day. So, we will also go with God. Yan talaga yung uh, pray ko sa ating lahat, guys, no? Kaya I appreciated those who Join the devotional because I am really praying for you. No, I'm really praying for you. Din yun appeal yan, pero yun. I am earnestly praying for you. Okay, guys, let's now pray. Thank you, God, for drawing us to seek after you, to know you better, to love you more, to recognize your greatness. We are so grateful for your presence in our life. Amen and Amen. Yes, guys, so kalimutan pumalapit kay Lord. Because with God, nothing is impossible. 
God bless us all guys because you know God will surely bless us 10 times better. This is again Richard with Stevie. Kita-kita tayo magitang na sa muli. Paalam!